And that's why if you want to see the condition of your heart, then check the quality of your prayer. How are you when it's time to pray, when you stand up to pray? What are you thinking about? Because that which you think about during prayer, that, that which you are concerned about during prayer, helps you to determine who you are as a Muslim. Who you are as a Muslim. And so, during these days of Ramadan, in the nights in which we stand, stand up in prayer, we sometimes we don't have a lot of time to do a lot of ibadat. Maybe we're busy in the daytime. But whatever we do, make sure, foc try to focus on quality. If you don't have the quantity, then at least make it up with quality. If you don't have the time to do many acts of worship, then whatever you're doing, do it with quality. And that's something that's very important, something we need to focus on. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا It is he who created light, death and life to see which of you are best in deeds. He did not say are most in deeds. No, are best in deeds. And so focus on quality in your acts of worship, in your ibadat. When you stand up for prayer, pray, pray as if it's your last prayer. And when you're fasting, don't just fast from food and water also, but fast from all that which is displeasing to Allah and do that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can while you're fasting. Be in a state of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the month of Ramadan is not just the month in which we lose weight. And most of us don't lose weight during the month of Ramadan anyways. It's the month to lose sins. It's the month to lose sins, to cleanse our heart and fill it with taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can continue on our journey, check our hearts, make sure that it's not sick. Because when it's sick, you will not be able to perform, you will not be able to enjoy the acts of worship. So cleanse and purify your heart Fill it with taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not leave this month without repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the true repentance. Make a change to be the best you can be. Make that conviction that from now on you will be a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will do his or her best to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do that which is pleasing to Allah and make the conviction to focus on quality in your acts of worship. And so take some of that inshallah from this month. It's the pit stop and if we don't refuel ourselves, we will not make the journey. This is the opportunity to do so. So refuel yourselves with taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to teach us that which benefits us and benefit us from that which he has taught us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting and our prayers. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this Ramadan the best Ramadan that we've ever had. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those whom he has freed from the hellfire and has entered his, the highest level in paradise. Wa jazakum khayran wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.